Today's FLG is a little number heavy. We've got the final output specs on the 2014 Corvette Stingray, and it's better than we thought. Mercedes wants its new SLC sports car in the form of a Black Series. Lexus plans a coupe version of the new IS. And we got more details on the Maserati Levante crossover. And someone is doing what, Max? It wrong. That's right. What's up, everybody? Hope you had a good Memorial Day weekend. Mine was really good besides a drunk guy on a bike. I'm assuming he was a drunk guy on a bike. Scratched the side of my car and destroyed my side view mirror. So thanks for that. I'm Derek D. This is Fast Lane Daily. Could you say that guy was doing it wrong? Oh, he was doing it very wrong. Good call. Maserati is finishing up production of their Levante SUV, which will make its debut in 2015. Now, design-wise, it will draw inspiration from the 2011 Kubang concept, which was pretty good looking in my opinion, right here. Reports are saying it will look like a cross between the Porsche Cayenne and BMW X6, which again, I can't be mad at. Power-wise, you got a bunch of engine options, including a 3-liter V6, making 410 ponies. There's also a 4.8-liter V8, slated to make 530 horses. Oh, snap. Snap. Yeah. In Europe, a 275 horsepower turbo diesel from the Ghibli sedan will also be available. Regardless of engine, an 8-speed gearbox will serve as the de facto transmission. A Maserati SUV, huh? Just further evidence, you still can't afford a Maserati. That's right. Yeah, it's fine. Lexus is hard at work on a coupe version of their new IS sedan, which might go on sale as early as 2014. Taking design cues from the LFCC concept, you know, that sexy looking deal right here. Mm -hmm. The Coupe IS will use the same engine options from the sedan, a 2.5 liter V6 and a 3.5 liter V6. There might also be a hybrid option making about 220 ponies. Also, Lexus is still considering bringing back an ISF variant with V8 power. Nice. Power. Yeah. You psyched, you psyched about that? I'm psyched about that. Because the ISF is going to go away, but it might be coming back. Whatever. Now to the trusty rumor mill, and it turned out a story on the upcoming Mercedes SLS AMG replacement, the SLC. The latest report suggests the Porsche 911 fighting SLC will also have a Black Series version boasting 585 horsepower. That's a lot, AK. Yep. The base SLC model will use a 4-liter twin-turbo V8, making 485 <laughs> of those, while a middle-range S version will get up to how many ponies, Tom? 550. Yeah. A lot. The SLC is slated for a 2016 debut at a starting price of 141 large. $141. <laughs> is that right? No, $141,000. And the story of the day goes to the 2014 C7 Stingray Corvette. GM has unloaded the final figures on the renewed sports car, and they are pretty impressive. The new 6.2 liter V8 will make 455 horses and 460 pound feet of torque, both more than previous estimates. The new 7-speed manual gearbox will have an active rev match function and both the coupe and convertible will have perfect 50 to 50 weight distribution. Yeah, like that? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> All signs are pointing to one hell of a bargain at $52,000 starting price. Pretty good for what you get. Yeah. Is basically what they're saying. Coming in a little hot though. Coming in a little hot, yeah. <laughs> Let's look at someone who's doing what, Max? Doing it wrong. Doing it wrong. That's right. Here's a, some TV host somewhere on a quad looking quite squirrely. Notice he's not wearing a helmet, so that's one thing he's doing wrong right there. That's it. He then hits a couple of bumps and goes flying off in a quite comical way. Rolling on the front tire and then landing next to the quad on, on like the dirt and tires of the track. I gotta admit, he does get up like a bounce. Bounce. <laughs> and talk to the camera, but still, riding a quad? You're doing it wrong. And we got another one for you. Oh, we do? Yeah, it's, it's a twofer in today's. You see the Shelby GT500 destroy the dyno? Mm -hmm. Did see that. Well, check it out right here. But here, the dyno is to blame. Hey, dyno, functioning correctly? You're doing it wrong. Right, Tom? Absolutely. I mean, it, it was just too much power for the dyno to handle. Yeah. And as you saw right there. Links to those videos are in the description below if you'd like to watch them again and again. I, I wouldn't want to watch that one again. Yeah. yeah. Love to get that quad on that dyno. Yeah. <laughs> See what it could do. Yeah. Anyway, that's going to do it for Fast Lane Daily today, Max. I'm Derek D. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. What else, AK? Instagram. We're on Instagram. Well, you're missing Vine. Vine, yep. Twitter. 
<laughs> Facebook. I said that one. Facebook. Yep, and t-shirts. Are we in a chat room yet? iTunes. Prodigy chat room? <laughs> Old school. <laughs> AOL, American Online. Uh, yeah, and that's it. Sorry, I'm a little under the weather, guys, but uh, I'm still here for you. Here for you. I'm here for you. Derek, do you look a little under the weather today? Yeah, I am. I'm actually on antibiotics, I'm a little sick. It sucks. So Derek D, were you pissed that Game of Thrones wasn't on Sunday night? I was, but uh, it's cool because we have these pictures lovely photoshopped by... Well, actually, they were, I used the juxtaposer.